What's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back at it again with another Giants video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Jeremy Pruitt, the new addition to the Giants coaching staff. He's going to be on here as a coaching assistant. Uh, you know, it would be fair to assume a defensive coaching assistant. And well, the only defensive coaching assistant job available right now is linebacker coach, particularly outside linebacker coach, because Brett Bielma, who was our outside linebacker coach this past year, you know, he got a, a head coaching job at the college level. So he left for that. And well, it would make sense. That's what he is. It hasn't been confirmed yet what, what exactly his role is going to be. But once again, it, it doesn't take a genius to figure out it's probably going to be that outside linebacker position. And well, let's kind of talk about Pruitt a little bit. This is from BigBlueView.com, right? The article I'm about to get out to you guys by Ed Valentine. The article that I'm going to be referring to here in just a second. What I do know off the top of my head from, you know, the tweets last night. And this news actually broke while I was on stream for the Young Guns podcast, and that was a great podcast, guys. Go check it out. Kid Blue, as usual, my co-host, was amazing, but our guests really shone last night in Pest and Nate. Go check it out. We talked this, which happened at the very beginning of the podcast. We did a mock draft. You know, we talked a little bit about the coaching hirings, you know, basically across the NFL and whatnot. It was a good one. Definitely, if you did not get to check it out, go take a look at the replay. What are the, the only thing I know about this guy is that, you know, he's a defensive guy and that he's from Tennessee. And we already have one Tennessee coach on our roster. That is the inside linebacker coach, Kevin Scherer. So he has a connection there. And then another tweet said that he worked with Joe Judge at Alabama. So the guy has quite a bit connections with the roster here. And let's actually get into what the article has to say about Jeremy Pruitt. Now, he was the former head coach of the Tennessee Volunteers. He was actually fired at, from Tennessee. The article says, before spending three unsuccessful seasons at Tennessee, compiling a 16-19 and 19 record during a tenure that ended with an investigation by the school led to his ouster due to finding of a big number of NCAA rules violations. Pruitt was a successful defensive coach with a number of big-time college programs. Now, this is concerning because... No matter what, if your coach that you hire is involved with the law or some type of scandal, it's always a bit concerning. Thank God he's going to be here as an assistant coach, not really anything too big. And this actually came up in the podcast last night. We were, The whole panel, we kind of agreed that it was weird. Eric Biennemi hasn't gotten a job yet. One of the reasons proposed was that maybe it's because he's, you know, had a few run-ins with the law before. But I shot that down immediately because Urban Meyer has had run-ins with the law and particularly you know his investigation at ohio state that ended his tenure and now he's back with jacksonville and well urban meyer is a coach you know he is a good coach so hopefully the same thing is kind of said here you know hopefully prude is a good coach despite this weird investigations here and then the article continues i turned to terry lambert of sb nation's tennessee website rocky top talk to learn more about Pruitt, here's what Lambert said in email. I'm actually a big fan of Pruitt, at least on the defensive side of the ball. He just turned out to be in over his head as a head coach. His coaching decisions, particularly in the clock management and quarterback management department, were atrocious. He meddled supposedly in the offensive decisions, which just made everything worse. Once again, like I said, we're going to have him here on the defensive side of the ball. I really don't see him coming on as the new offensive line coach. Like, There's two coaching positions available, offensive line, outside linebacker. You guys decide which one makes more sense. It's not that hard of a, of a decision. And this kind of sounds like any good, you know, co coordinator or defensive, not defensive, or just coaching assistant that moves to the head coaching level. The reasons they don't work out is just because they just can't handle the other side of the ball. You know, Pat Shermer is the best example I use because he's the most recent one in the Giants case. Article continues saying, but the guy can flat out coach up some defense, especially when he's only focused on that side of the ball. 
His players on that side of the ball love him. His reputation as a defensive developer landed Tennessee several top-notch results. We all figure he'll be back as an SEC defensive coordinator at some point, but there's a rumored show cause penalty coming his way. In my opinion, Pruitt could crush it as an NFL defensive back or linebacker coach, or even as an analyst. He's got a ton of ties with the staff in Joe Judge, Burton Burns, Kevin Scherer, and I think Pat Fitzgerald. So we know Joe Judge because Alabama. Obviously, Burns was there at Alabama as well. So bam, Kevin Scherer, like I mentioned earlier, who worked with the linebackers at Tennessee. And then Pat Fitzgerald, who is our defensive back coach, formerly of Atlanta. So I'm guessing Fitzgerald worked either at Alabama or Tennessee as well at one point, And they crossed paths there. Hey, that's just... You can't ask for more when it comes to chemistry, at least on the coaching staff. He should slide right in. It should indeed be a natural fit. So I'm very happy about that, right? And it looks like he'll be a judge guy because I'll be honest with you, I could only see Joe Judge sniping this guy from the Jets. For those of you that don't know, he signed, he was actually in the talks of making a deal, signing a contract with the New York Jets. That was the news that came out. And then four hours later, it comes out that he signs with the Giants. The only person I could think of that could do that, man, is Joe Judge. He went in there. He said, hey, listen, Pruitt, you my boy. Why are you going to the Jets? Come over here to the Giants. <laughs> like, I find that hilarious, man. The Jets always got the label of, the, of like the little brother in New York. That's the most little brother thing to ever happen, bro. Um, next up, it says Pruitt took a roster that lost six defensive backs in 2018 and created a respectable secondary unit by the end of the year. He took two four-star athletes and plugged them in that corner, one of which declared for this year's draft in Bryce Thompson. Tennessee went from 83rd in total defense in 2017 to 77th in 2018 to 23rd in 2019. He's stubborn. He's old school. He was coaching high school football a little over a decade ago in Alabama. Good football coach. Just doesn't have the stuff to be a head guy. Everything that I'm gathering from this statement here, from this person that supposedly like I had observed him for a while. Who did they say they talked to? Uh, Terry Lambert, right? Everything that I'm gathering here, especially from like the last four paragraphs, is that the dude is a great, great defensive coach. He's a, he could be a great defensive coordinator at the college level and he will be a great defensive assistant at the NFL level. That's the vibe that I'm getting, especially when Lambert specifically pointed out defensive backs and or linebackers. I 100% believe he's going to come in and be our outside linebackers coach or you know what believe this catch this what if the Giants shift Kevin Scherer from inside linebacker coach to outside linebacker coach and then Pruitt comes in as the new inside linebacker coach I could see that happening because guess what Scherer is a really experienced guy on the defensive side of the football as well he was one at one point the defensive coordinator of Tennessee he was in 2018 the defensive coordinator of Tennessee and in 2017 now this is a very important year because this was the year Lorenzo Carter was still at Georgia and had probably his best year at Georgia. In 2017, from 2014 to that year, he was the outside linebackers coach for Georgia. I can see that happening. I could completely see us shifting Kevin Scherer from inside to outside because it's not like it's going to, I don't think it's going to be a too much of a big adjustment for him. And then we'll have Pruitt coming in as the inside linebackers coach. Uh, that's just an idea I'm going to throw out there. Of course, it's probably more realistic that Scherer sticks that inside and then Pruitt comes in as the outside whatever the case is i'm liking the hire in terms of the possibilities i'm still concerned about whatever scandal this dude has had in the past but it's crazy to me that joe judge is really hiring guys that are versatile even in the coaching game like we have versatile players and that's trying to what the name of the game for this team is trying to be we're trying to be versatile on both sides of the ball we're really versatile in defense now we're even versatile in coaching staffs and that that's amazing to me man but let me know what you guys think about the hire, about the possibilities, and about my idea with Kevin Scherer and Jeremy Pruitt. Put your thoughts down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.